we've got three circles, one, two, three, each of radius four centimetres. And A, B and C are the centres of those circles and they're on a straight line together. What we want to do is find the area that has been shaded here. Let's start off then. If you have a circle, you should be marking the radius on there in a helpful way. So for example, this distance here is the radius goes from the centre of C to the circumference of C. So let's mark on there that was a four. And likewise, this over here must also be a four. Okay, well, can we see any other radii on here? And actually, with a little bit of creative thinking, you can, because this point here, from the middle circle, that is also a radius. So we can again mark four here. And likewise, from this one at C, this is a four. Let's mark on these other couple, so we've finished it off, four and four. At the moment, it might look like we're adding just a lot of fours, but this tells us something really important about the type of triangles that we are dealing with. If all three sides are the same, so one, two, three, we've got equilateral triangles, and the angles here are going to be really helpful for us later. So let's mark on then for an equilateral triangle. We've got 60 degrees, and likewise, over this side we've got 60, down here we have a symmetrical image, also with 60s, but we don't need to add all of those at the moment. Our next step then should be trying to think about some of these areas. The sort of topics that we need to be holding in our head are areas of sectors and areas of segments for circles. So if we start off then thinking about, for example, the area of this sector of a circle that I've highlighted, and that's made up of two parts. It's the equilateral triangle here, and also this smaller segment that we've got outside of the equilateral triangle. If we want to find the area of it, so let's write down area, and this is of this sort of pizza slice shape, so let's include something like this, with radius 4 and angle in the middle 60. Well, this is one sixth of a full circle where you have an angle of 360. So we've got one sixth of pi times r squared, that's four squared. So this would be 16 over six pi, or to simplify it, a over three pi. That's this full sector made up of the triangle and also the extra part on the edge. Well, next thing to think about would be, can we isolate this pizza crust segment to help ourselves out? And if we want to do that, we can think about the area of the triangle. So this equilateral triangle and we can subtract it from the sector that we found earlier. So let's make a note we're finding the area of the equilateral triangle, and then we can just use half A, B, sine C. So for this triangle, we can do a half A, B times sine 60. And luckily for us, that's an exact trig value that we know, isn't it? So half times four times four should give you eight, and sine 60 is root 3 over 2. That gives us an answer of 4 root 3 for the triangle. Well, using this then, so if we do a subtraction here, we had whole pizza slice, take away the triangle, is leaving us with just the sector that makes up the pizza crust. So that would be 8 pi over 3, take away 4 root 3. It might seem like a, quite a lot of labour at the moment, but actually these shapes are what help us to make up the shaded regions that we need. 
So if you think about one of these shaded regions, and I'll draw one down here for us. One of those shaded regions is a sector with angle 60, yeah, because it was made up of equilateral triangles. So this uh, side here is the same as this side here. So we've got a sector with angle 60, and we need to take away two of our pizza crust segments to be left with the shaded area. So let's make a note of that here. So we can say one shaded area equals, and I'm going to try and draw what I'm saying, one of our areas of our whole sector, and we're going to take away two pizza crusts. So take away two times the pizza crust segment. If you just want to check why that is, we well, can see there the whole sector is this thing. Take away this pizza crust, take away this pizza crust. So what we need to do is find one of those shaded areas and then double it at the end. So let's say what that is then. One whole pizza slice is our eight over three pi. And we need to take away two of our pizza crusts. So that was eight pi over three, take away four root three. Simplifying this then, it's a little bit messy at the moment. We've got eight over three pi, take away two lots of eight over three pi, would be 16 over three pi. And be really careful with the negatives here. We've got negative two times negative four root three. So this would be plus eight root three. And one more step of simplifying. Actually, this eight root three should come first because we're going to get a negative sign in front of this term. So we've got eight root three. Eight over three, take away 16 over three, will give us negative eight over three pi. We're not quite finished though. That gave us one of those shaded areas. And actually we would like both top and bottom. So we need to make our answer twice as big. So I'm just gonna try and squeeze this maybe in over here. Uh, let's just make a note. We want two shaded areas. So we're making everything twice as large. We're gonna get 16 root three. take away 16 over 3 pi.